Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. This is me, Heroes, Slowly. That's what you're gonna call me. And this is one of my favorite video games ever. I don't know how else to begin it even with that lofty title. So, that was the intro, and here's a bit of a de demonstration, tutorial, what have you, of the characters we'll be seeing later in the game. But enough of that. Let's get started with this game. Let's break over this bad boy. Yep, I sure am. So, for this, I'm just going to be putting in my information, my personal social security number, uh, my driver's license number, all that good shit. And no, my name is not Mark. I always default to you with Mark. Because Mark's a nice normal name, but I'm going to go slow. Because that's the name on my birth certificate. And Lord knows I do not want to lie in a video game, especially when I'm recording it for the internet. Alrighty, and month. Month, this affects almost literally nothing, but I'm going to be putting my month of birth, May. And gender, well, I am a pretty lovely dude, so I have to go with that. And let's get this started. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm very sure. And here we go. We're starting up the prologue. Fair warning, this episode's going to be text heavy, and I'm not the type of dude who reads out the text, so let's hope you pass took on phonics. Oh. If I'm unconscious on the plane. Okay, okay. God, this text is slow. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. You're a real pal. Yep. My name's Mark. Ah, oh, shit. I meant slow. Sorry, it's slow. Hey, f fuck off, Lynn. You spell your name weird, but I'm done. Whatever, you know. Maybe we're starting off on a bad foot here. Yeah, you're right. I will. I will be no goddamn one. So, yeah. Nope, I'm only a traveler. Good on ya. So good plans, are you sure story? I don't have a fucking story, I'm a main character. Here's my story. I'm a player character, and we're gonna be fighting some people. Yep. And this is gonna be our tutorial. Lynn's gonna be our actual main character that we control. We uh, are just gonna give her directions in this case. All two bandits, oh no. Mm-hmm. I mean, you pretty much do. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I mean, don't mind me. You can handle all the all the dangerous, bloodthirsty bandits. I'll just be in this nice, cozy little shelter. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the the thing. Your character is technically not a warrior or anyone who can use weapons. They're uh, instead they're a strategist. Their college degree is really coming in handy here. So the way that the game's gonna make this work out is that we're technically going to just be controlling everyone and giving them advice like, hey, you go over here, you do this, you do that, you do that. And we'll technically be playing it even though we're not gonna be an actual character. You'll see what I mean, it'll make sense in a second. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's two red enemies. We're gonna be savagely murdering them both. I'm a weak little, uh, book nerd. Okay. Okay. Can I go to options first, please? Yes! Okay, sorry, this is just gonna bug me. Uh, fast, 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 fast. Blue color. Eh. I mean, usually I go with three. But I'll stick with one, just to be classic and vanilla. problem with swords, you gotta be right next to a guy to stab him. So we're gonna be moving Lynn a little bit closer to her enemy, even though if this was not controlled I would just have her sit here and let that guy aggro, but that's neither here nor there. This is uh, gonna be a tutorial. Mm -hmm. roll. That's kind of what we wanted, Lynn. Don't worry. You'll, you'll do fine. Spots. So yeah, with Lynn, because she's a sword user, those are going to be your basic uh, adjacent square attackers. We will get units later on in this game that can attack from all sorts of directions, but for now, we're going to be doing mostly adjacent combat. 
Oh, so goddamn, sorry my, my keyboard's so loud. I'll have to fix that. Tech. I mean, keyboard, I'm playing this on the Game Boy Advance. What? I, I don't know what you're saying about this fucking emulation business, but I'm not part of it. Anyway, so this is going to be our combat window. So we're the blue side, and that means that we're going to be doing 7 damage, and then if you can see that floating little times too, that means we're attacking twice. We're doing double the damage to this guy. And we have 100% accuracy. Uh, I don't remember if it's this game or if it's the Tellius game, where 100% is technically only like 99.7, but whatever. For all intents and purposes, we're hitting him twice, so we're doing 14 damage. Meanwhile, he's only hitting us for 39% accuracy, meaning he's probably not going to hit... Oh, those are smart over sure it goes anyway. Um, and he's doing 10 damage, so it's kind of intimidating for now, but let's see what happens. Also, I'm probably going to be keeping in these animations until we get to later parts of the game, but for now, enjoy. And he missed! Dang. I was talking and I forgot to notice that. Now he hits, and oh boy, it's a bit of damage. Now then we can't weather, though. Mm -hmm. So now he's gone. He's dead forever. His family's going to mourn him. <laughs> Just kidding, he doesn't have a family. Yep, so we're gonna have to heal. Slip in. Yep. By the Gur. That always bothered me. Like, who, like what is a Gur? G E R. Gur to the West. You don't know what a Gur is? Yeah, you're damn right I don't. <laughs> it's a round of it. It's like, it's just, it's funny because they spend so much time in the tutorial going over it. Ah, oh, man, this game. Yep. So we're gonna be moving Lynn in closer and we're gonna be using a Volmari. Satchel. Her bag, her purse, her fanny pack. Tomato, tomato, really. So we open up that item menu and use one of those delicious Wolverines that heals for 10 HP, which is exactly the damage she took, so now she's back at full HP. She's ready to take down this guy. Mm -hmm. By the Gur. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> it's the only, this is the only chapter where they say Gur this much anyway, so enjoy it while it lasts, but... Okay, not loving this combat window so far, but hey, we don't really get much of a choice. So let's go for it. Well, I mean, depends on the day, but I'm slow. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This isn't one of those hacks where you're made into a fire-breathing dragon or anything, so you're not going to do as much harm. Speaking of harm, he did hit us, but I got a funny feeling we're going to survive. Just, just, just trust me on that one. Yeah, it does come down to this next blow. Uh, this game's actually coded so that you die in the tutorial. It's a really progressive uh, online guard way to start the game, but I appreciate it. So it's a shame we'll be saying goodbye to Lynn here, but... Uh, oh, oh, she's not dying. Come oh, on, shocking. Oh, and critical. Yep, criticals are flashy and nice, and it means that we're doing three times damage, so... Good old Bata here is a bat in the dust. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was good. Oh, nice level up, too. Um, so, yeah, every time we get under experience, we level up. We cap out at 20, but we'll deal with that later. For now, all you need to know is that was a pretty good level up for Lynn. Yep, was close. He underestimated him, blah, 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 whatever. He's dead. Let's move on. Yep. Yep, I just mentioned that. So keep that in mind, um, while we will be leveling up our units, typically you only really want to invest in the units you're using long term. So there's going to be some units I'm not going to be using to level them up. But we'll get to that in a later date, because right now we're definitely going to be using them. Woo! He sees the girl. He sees the day. It's time to get some more text boxes. Oh wow, we just fucking passed out after that. <laughs> like, woo, all that blood and murder has made me tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Come on, come on. Really? I didn't do jack shit. <laughs> the only thing I would, I would be expecting you took the power nap there, but okay. Mm hmm. Clearly. No, get away from me, you freak. Oh. But this isn't a game with choices, that's right. Oh well. Lynn seems housebroken, so I guess we'll travel with her. 
Although she is gonna pontificate about her dead parents here, so. Mm -hmm. Look, forgive me if I'm uh, ruining the mood here, but we just met. <laughs> so yeah, that's one story. She's got no parents and no family that she knows of. So she's gonna be traveling with us now. Also, I think canonically, 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 I don't know how you're supposed to say it. I think she's supposed to be 18 in this game. I know she's 16 in Japan's version, but whatever. She's about, she's basically a teenager. So, she's still young and naive in the world. And you get to see her grow. Okay, okay, we're done here. Cool. Gotta let it out. Shake it out, as they say. Mm -hmm. Sure, I mean, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'm down. I mean, as long as you're doing all the stabbing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not wrong on that one. You're really not wrong. Sure, fuck it. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. I mean, really, you're doing the work here, but sure. Master strategies. <laughs> Oh, come on, girl. You haven't seen me play this game. <laughs> uh, I don't think you know how bad I am in video games. Ah, we'll see. Right? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's Lynn. She's going to be our main character for a good hunk of this game. Mayhaps the entire game. Mayhaps not. Mayhaps. Uh, Move the toss, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we're going to be going through these chapters one by one. I'm trying to shoot for about a chapter per video, just so that way I don't end up, like, zooming past dialogue too much. But, I mean, these chapters are bite-sized, at least early on, so... It's only until later we'll have to start splitting up chapters and such, but for now, uh, I'm gonna call this a segment. So, with that in mind, it was the first of many parts to come of this Let's Play, and I do thank you for joining me on that. You ready for the next segment? where we meet uh, Beto and Verona Dude, as I call them. See you then.